I got a very interesting email from a Vancouver province reader the other day about the Kinder Morgan pipeline. Uh, the reader pointed out that I had written in my column that British Columbia opposes the pipeline on environmental grounds. Of course, I meant the BC government opposes the pipeline. The reader pointed out to me that in no uncertain terms that the John Horgan government does not represent all British Columbians on this issue. And in fact, most British Columbians actually support the pipeline. It's a good point, and it's certainly backed up in a brand new opinion poll that's out that suggests 54% of British Columbians actually support the pipeline. There's 26% oppose it. The rest have no opinion. That's from the Angus Reid Institute. Now, everybody knows pollster, pollsters can be wrong, but you look at the split in those numbers. I mean, among decided respondents, that's better than two to one in favor of the pipeline. That's significant support for the project. I know the people fighting the pipeline don't like it one bit, but that's just the way it is. And here's something else you might not know, despite everything you hear about BC First Nations opposing the Kinder Morgan pipeline, the company has actually signed 33 benefit agreements with First Nations in British Columbia. Just like the overall polling numbers on this project, they're split. BC First Nations are also divided on the project. A lot of First Nations actually support the pipeline. It's just one more reason that this is such a difficult issue for Premier John Horgan.